These days, it's tough to tell one city from another. The one-of-a-kind places that awaited travelers along the blue highways of the heartland have been replaced by the sameness of the interstate. The real America is getting harder and harder to find. In Buffalo, real remains. You can see it in the turn-of-the-century houses, the regional dishes you can't find anywhere else, the cherished traditions going back generations, the unhurried walk down tree-lined streets, the comfortable hello to a stranger passing by, the treasures left behind by an America that dreamed big and built to last. The Erie Canal made Buffalo the gateway to the West, a 19th century boomtown of enormous wealth and citizens who aspired to greatness. The Buffalo we've inherited from them is a testament to their will to succeed and desire to leave their mark behind. It's a legacy that can be found deep in the marrow of Buffalo's bones. In the terracotta facade of Lewis Sullivan's Guarantee Building, the Roman brick of Frank Lloyd Wright's Darwin Martin House, the quarter sawn oak of the Roycroft Inn, and even in the well-worn steps leading up to the Colored Musicians Club, where Duke and Dizzy and Ella once made the music that is synonymous with American ingenuity and creativity. Now, some might say time has left our town behind. Prosperity has moved on, our moment passed, and no one would argue that we haven't had our share of hard knocks. Yet, despite the odds, we're still here. Teddy Roosevelt, who took the oath of office for the presidency here in Buffalo, once said that it's not the critic who counts, but rather the man whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, the man who knows great enthusiasms and who spends himself in a worthy cause. This is Buffalo today, daring to be great once again. Neighborhoods given up for dead are finding new life, parks, born in the imagination of Frederick Law Olmsted, are blooming and bountiful once again. Entrepreneurs and artists work side by side in spaces once thought obsolete. Masterworks have been reinvigorated, facades repointed, walls repainted, awaiting visitors. The once and future city of light, fueled by the power of nearby Niagara Falls, is ready to shine again. for a touchstone to an epic past and a glimpse of a city being reborn. If you're searching for an America you thought had disappeared, a place that's authentic and real, follow your heart to Buffalo. <laughs> and if you're lucky, maybe, just maybe, you'll get snowed in. <laughs>